Good morning, Steve Freed with the results of the September USDA uh, report. Again, most of the numbers are in line with uh, expectations. We've got beans and meal higher, uh, corn and wheat lower. USDA estimated the corn yield at 176.5 versus 174.6 in August, a crop of almost 15 billion bushels. They raised planted acres from 92.7 to 93.3 in the beans. Uh, they raised the yield to 50.6 from 50 in August. That's a 4374 crop versus 4339. They actually dropped bean acres from 87.6 planted versus 87.2. And as expected, they increased sorghum acres 7.3 from 6.5. And the crop is now 454 million bushels versus 409 estimated in August. They did raise the um, <clears throat> old crop 2021 corn carry up 1187 versus 1169. And uh, for the beans, they raised it 175 from 160. For new crop, um, they lowered the wheat carry out to 615 from 627, basically a drop of 10 million bushels in imports. The corn carryout was raised to 1408. The higher crop number uh, could not be offset by um, increase in feed by 75 and exports by 75. Um, the August carryout was 1242. And in the beans, they estimated the carryout 185. Uh, the trade was looking for 190 and it was 155 in August. World wheat stocks were increased to 283 million tons from 279. Uh, corn 293 from 284 and beans almost 99 million tons versus 96. So I think in the balance, uh, the market uh, is not going to buy this uh, USDA report, I don't think. And the market, I don't think, is going to come in and, and buy until harvest is over, uh, until we figure out more as far as uh, are the yields going to get any better uh, as harvest progresses. Um, we'll watch the demand side of things and see if uh, it picks up after this report. Uh, we'll watch uh, the Gulf and how quickly it can get back uh, to normal. We'll also be watching the direction of the dollar and the impact that uh, inflation may have on the U.S. economy and also the spread of the COVID um, virus. We'll be watching uh, also about uh, the U.S. economy and whether it can grow uh, in these last uh, few months of 2021, uh, or does the Fed need to continue to have stimulus? So again, the report was uh, what I would consider pretty much in line with expectations. Beans up a little bit, corn and wheat down. Um, I, I don't think we see much as far as price action. Uh, we're cheap, but we, um, we need to see some of these uh, bullish things happen to move the prices higher. As always, these were my thoughts, not those of ADM and ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day. And remember, always treat people like you yourself would like to be treated.